welcome to social class today let's see seventh chapter that is natural resources forest and wildlife learning objectives types of natural resources forest resources wildlife resources in forest resources there are two types types of forest and conservation of forest in that we have studied all the types of forest and forest resources now let's see types of forest deciduous uses forest evergreen forest mountain forest thorny and scrub forest tidal forest evergreen forest forest are green throughout the year these are dense forest found in areas with heavy rainfall such as on the western slopes of western coast in this area we can see heavy rainfall the trees trees in those forest are tall yes in this area we can see the trees are very tall deciduous forest forest are also called monsoon forest the trees here shed their leaves every year in the dry season yes in this area we can see the leaves shed they are found in bihar madhya pradesh odisha uttar pradesh andhra pradesh telangana and tamil nadu sandal food is found in karnataka thorny and scrub desert area in this area full of desert forest are generally found in the desert areas of rajasthan and in the dry areas of gujarat madhya pradesh uttar pradesh maharashtra karnataka andhra pradesh telangana and tamil nadu here we mostly find bushes and only a very few trees yes we can see in this area thorny and scrub area we can see the only few trees and long roots a thick bark sharp thorns small leaves these these we can find in this forest they have long roots a thick bark thick bark okay children they can survive on very little water for many months mountains mountain and mountain forest are found in the himalayan region and in part of the nilagiri in mountain area a snow will covered in himalayan re- region conservation of forest our forest cover is slowly getting reduced as trees are being cut down in la- large numbers to fulfill our needs yes in conservation of forest social forestry one mahotsava this festival we are celebrating in this days means we must grow the plants we should not cut the plants many animals birds and people lost their homes when forests are cut down we should not cut down trees we should make efforts to conserve forest by planting more trees the indian government has launched many programs to plant trees such as a social forestry program and van mahotsavas schools also encourage children to plant trees yes we must plant the trees we should not cut the trees wildlife resources national parks and wildlife sanctuaries have been set up by the government to protect wildlife yes there are top 10 wildlife sanctuaries in india tourist enjoying a jeep safari in corpet national park yes in this area the people come to visit the 
animals india has large variety of wildlife however animals are being hunted and killed in large numbers by human beings yes the people they will go to forest and they will kill the animals and they will what do uh, what do you say they will uh, they will kill the animals so in in order to protect wildlife certain forest are protected by the government for this purpose the government is protecting the wild life these are known as forest reserve or wildlife sanctuaries now understood children because of this is government to protect the wildlife otherwise people will kill the animals that's why they will protect yes children this lesson is over you can go through test book thank you dear children